Well guys, we made it out to Iron Horse Mud Ranch. We were here earlier this year, had the uh, gas truck here, it was a great time. And since we got the motor in, we said this would be a really good rundown, test run on the truck, make sure everything's working properly before the mud season kind of kicks off. So uh, we're out here today and we're gonna have a great time. It's gonna be awesome. The weather's eh, definitely wet, it's definitely muddy. So we're gonna see what this thing can do. It's, it's running really good. We just gotta hope it stays that way. So. Uh, We'll get this thing unloaded off the trailer. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching the J.H. Cecil channel and grabbing all the J.H. Cecil merchandise. We appreciate you. Thank you so much for the support. I hope you guys enjoy the video today. Well, we're gonna take it out and see what it does. We're not gonna beat on it too much. I really do wanna break the engine in right. Like we've driven around the yard. We've done quite a few heat cycles with it. Done a couple of wide open throttle runs. It's really wet right now. They had a lot of rain. The hurricane hit them last month, so I think they still have a ton of water from the hurricane. Like, it's way more water than the last time we were here. So um, I think we're just gonna go out there, run it, see what it does. Hope for the best. I think it's gonna do good. Stay out of the big water holes and hope we don't get stuck. Ten minutes in had our first little mishap we uh i think we got the distributor wet which we got to figure out how to keep that thing dry uh we put a bag over it last time i think it worked better so 
we're gonna try that again but on top of that uh just basically hit a big water hole soak the distributor start running like crap idling all high so hopefully we get the distributor dried out and then adjust the idle we should be good again guys i'm not trying to beat the crap out of it yet and there's a lot of water out here we weren't expecting last time it was pure mud and you know they had a lot of rain so there's a lot of water we weren't expecting i don't like didn't build a submarine so not their fault not the park's fault it just happened so we'll see what happens though get this thing dried out hopefully it runs good again and we get back to ripping First outing with the truck with a new engine setup, not ideal. We actually had some issues with the air filters. They sucked. They sucked a bunch of dirt in. Not the best thing to have on a new engine, but the engine's still running good. And we actually pulled it off. And just by revving it, we were building more pounds of boost than we were with the filters on there. So we have a huge restriction. So tonight, we're gonna go ahead and do the pulls. We're gonna pull the filters off 
and we're going to run it no air filters we're not doing anything you know in the mud or anything like that so it should be just fine we'll do it with no air filters on it and this thing we'll see what it really does with this new engine so let's see if we can do some burnouts tug of wars see how that goes but unfortunately you know you'll have that on the big job sometimes if you just you know try to get your setup right so we'll have it set up huh Say, I call it shake, doing a, having a shakedown run. Honestly, we only came here problem. for the day, yep. and you know, we want to. Next weekend's really going to be our big fun weekend to plant bamboo. We we so, going. we really we can only be here for a day. So, like, let's go out, let's make sure the truck's good. That's why we brought it. And, uh, you know what? This, these are the issues you find. Honestly, super happy we found the issue. Now we can go rip this thing. Hopefully, it does good night in the tugs, and then we're ready to go to bamboo for next weekend. So, we'll see you guys at Tug Wars. <laughs> because it was really, I think right, it was let's pull up. robbing the motor. So let's see what happens. Is that some Motley crew? Who would have thought? So the truck is good to go. So midway through the pool, maybe three quarters of the way, truck started losing power and I was like, ah, I'm not sure if it's me or tires were gripping up or what's going on. Turns out the blower belt had stripped off and like ripped into some pieces. So the blower wasn't even working uh, probably three quarters of the way through the pool. We're gonna get the gearing worked out, but man, just what a monster it was on the pull pad. Once you figure out our problem, the air filters was our issue. Uh, they're plugged up and they're basically blocking it from getting airflow. And we run into this on diesels quite a bit too in the shop and I should have known better, but also the intake system we had, it was just not working for that setup. We're pulling too much air. So we are building a brand new intake system for it as we speak right now. We got back from Iron Horse, got back from Danger Ranger, got everything calmed down and settled down. And so we are building that as we speak. So you guys will see that next couple of videos. So, uh, but other than that, the engine ran perfect. It was awesome. After that, the truck still runs great, driven it around. Even with no blower working on it, it's still the engine itself is perfect. It runs good. So all that is good. Engine works great. Awesome news on that. And you guys will love what we got coming for you with Ron Burgundy because we're just getting the kinks worked out of it right now. Once they're worked out of it, 
She's going to be a monster. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching the JT channel. We will see you next time.